Creating mouth shapes can be as complex or as simple as you want. You can use very, very simple lines to create a motion in the mouth, or you can draw full lips, teeth, and everything, depending on the type of animation that you're planning on creating. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you where you can get a free mouth chart uh, online at the Toon Boom website. And I'm also going to show you the mouth shapes that I draw so I can animate my character. And we're going to use these charts as a basis to create the mouse for the tutorial coming up. So what I want to do is make sure you go to the Toon Boom website, toonboom.com, okay? And then what we're going to do is go to the products section and then come over here to e-learning and click on that link. Now where we're going to go is right here where it says articles. Click on articles and there's a tutorial called advanced lip syncing right here. So what you should do is check out this article when you have time. But the reason we're coming here is because at the bottom here you can download a mouth chart so you can kind of get an idea as to how you should draw them. So I'm going to go ahead and click on mouth chart to show you the chart they use for their uh, tutorial. And the, the important thing to remember here is that when you're working with Toon Boom Studio mouth shapes, you're going to try to name or follow the names of the mouth shapes they provide for you when you create your own mouths. So as you see here, A is closed in this case, B is slightly open, C is wider, D is the widest, and X is pretty much when your mouth is at rest, when you're not saying anything at all. G, and I also use this for F. F looks like this here as well, and E is the one they drawn here. So you, you can either use this as a guide or create your own shapes. So what I'm going to do is show you the ones I created here. Let me go ahead and just resize this a little bit. So following their chart, I created my own. So as you see here, I have my A, and I have my B, and I have my VF sound here. This one is for B, and this one is for like C. This was my X here and this one is like a D. So what you can do is like I said you can either you know create your own because it's gonna pretty much suit your animation. This one here, the chart that they created, fits this character and the way that they want this character to speak. What I do is I look in the mirror and I try to gauge my artwork based on the shapes that my mouth makes when I'm making the mouth shapes. So once again you can go very detailed and have a, a highly detailed mouth with lips and teeth and tongue and everything or you can just have simple lines like they've had like they have here they have simple lines for the mouth shapes there's no lips really or you can do a combination of both like I've done here they're very simple but they still have a lip set and the teeth and everything so once again try to name your mouth based on what you see here because we're going to follow this exactly to use for the automatic lip sync feature contained within Toon Boom Studio.